Rico just updated the USB API documentation for the Rico Theta X model. The Theta X has fantastic features for businesses, and I encourage you to check out this new API. The Theta X is currently asleep. I'm going to wake it up with a USB API. Look, no hands. The camera is now awake. Let's put it back to sleep in a low power mode and then wake it up again. Look, it's up. What about grabbing all the files down with a USB cable? How will that go? Let's check it out. Get all files. Wow, it's coming down very fast. The second to the last file was a video. It's probably pretty big. Let's check out how the, how the images look. I'm going to use FSP Viewer on Ubuntu 21.10. It's a free software. It's going to drag and drop the image from the Rico Theta onto it. Oh, look at that. It's right on my desk near the window. It's looking pretty good. Like many of you out there using the Rico Theta camera line, for projects such as robots or surveillance or industrial use. I love using the USB API. It's so fast. I can list all the files on the camera, take pictures, and power the camera indefinitely with the USB cable. There's no need to put the camera to sleep. I just did that to show that it can be done. And you can also wake it up. This is super nice when you are using thousands of images. And remember the Rico Theta X has these 11K images that you can take down. So they're gonna be 10 megabyte each if you set it into 11K mode. Also has this great video. So let's put the camera into video mode using the Rico USB API official reference to get the specific codes that we need. I'm going to use the raw PTP or MTP codes in this example. So we're going to use this 5013 in this example. The theta is simply PTP cam that I've um, renamed to thetas because I've there's been a bit of modifications to it. But this is basically PTP cam with some modifications. So I'm going to set the property to uh, Let's see, it's 5013, I think, right? So we first set the property, and then we have the value for that property, which is in the USB API documentations. Um, you know, there's a lot of numbers here, but if you refer to the USB API documentation, you'll be good to go. And I forgot the code, so I have to look at the USB API documentation again. It's good practice. Maybe one day I'll remember it. Where, where is it? Okay, it's uh, 5013 and the code for video is um, 0x8002. Okay, it's in video mode. You see the icon on the screen? It shows the camera in video mode. So I'm gonna use the hyphen R, capital R in this next example to get to pass it some raw PTP or MTP codes uh, just for this illustration. You know, and once you set it up once, you can just run this thing a, a thousand times. So it, it may be tough for the first time, but after that, it gets a lot easier. And I have this documented too. We can start and stop the video with the USB API. And then use that same USB-C cable to download all the files to your local device. You know, so oftentimes you'll be using a robot controller like a Raspberry Pi or a Jetson Nano or a Jetson Xavier or an x86 computer. And you just move everything down over to your local device. It's a Linux usually, but it could be Windows or Mac. And you're good to go here. It's fantastic. So let's grab it all after several tests that listed it. And then we're going to grab it down with some, some of these are fairly large files, right? They're, 
well over a hundred megabytes, maybe over a couple hundred megabytes. When you're doing it for more than just testing, you can easily get into uh, gigabyte files. And so it may take a bit of time over a Wi-Fi connection, depending on what type of Wi-Fi interference or other things you're experiencing in your local environment. But the USB cable is pretty solid. Once you have the media onto your computer, you normally push it up to the cloud using some type of script. In this example, we're just going to open it up on the local Linux computer so that we can inspect it. You could, of course, do the analysis of the, uh, the, the metadata. You can use the Open Source Viewer VLC to view the 360 video with a navigational view. We have many tutorials on using the USB API. If you have any problems, drop a note below and we'll try to help you out.